Hey guys, so today I thought it would be fun to just go through a quick skincare routine. This is basically what I do day to day. It's not meant to be some bullshit, you know, entrepreneur, get up at 5 a.m. and spend half an hour doing your skin. This is more just something you should be able to do in less than five minutes when you're getting ready for work or whatever you do um, when you go out for the day. The other thing that I'll mention is I'm not affiliated with any of these brands, and if you don't believe me, have a look at my social media following. There aren't enough people there to warrant someone wanting to sponsor me for this video. So this is just what I've found works for me and the stuff that I enjoy using. Um, my advice would be to find what works for you and don't just assume that because something's more expensive, it will work better for your skin type. So we'll get started. Basically the first thing I use in the morning when I jump in the shower is Kiehl's face wash. Um, again, this is only what I've been using recently, but I'll sort of alternate between products, especially whenever I run out of something. Um, if I'm shaving, typically I'll do that in the shower as well, just because the steam helps to keep your pores open and also it's easier um, and less messy, I guess, than doing it over a sink. So that will be my kind of normal routine. Once I've jumped out of the shower, if it's on a day when I've shaved, I'll use a toner. So at the moment, I'm using Kiehl's Calendula. Um, it's nice and kind of gentle on your skin. So I'll apply some of that. Then, once that is done, I use a couple of products from The Ordinary. Um, the first one is lactic acid. Typically I would use this in the evening, but because we're doing this in one go this morning, I'm just gonna apply some of it now to show you how it should look. Basically, you just put a small amount in the palm of your hand, and then apply it in the same way that you did with the toner. So the idea with this is that you're peeling off old dead skin cells and kind of encouraging your um, face to grow against new, fresh skin. It still seems a little bit foreign to me because lactic acid is something that I've grown up thinking you get when you've exercised too much and it should be painful, but I found that works well as part of skincare. Then on top of that, on top of that I will use um, hyaluronic acid. It basically just helps with the next step, which is applying moisturizer. It'll help that kind of absorb better into your system. It's the same thing with all of these, just give yourself a liberal amount, apply it to the skin. Okay, now the next step, you have sort of a bit of room to choose what suits you, but typically I will alternate between an eye serum that has caffeine and one that is meant to sort of help with wrinkles under your eyes. Um, I would tend to opt for the one with caffeine, say if you've had a late night, or you're just sort of feeling kind of sleepy as you're getting ready for work in the morning because it will help with reducing your um, puffy and kind of tired looking eyes, obviously. Um, so this step will vary based on what you're using, but with the ordinary, because they love their droppers, you just use your eyes. I'm pretty sure if you're really careful, you're supposed to just pat it on there, but I've been fairly lazy with just rubbing it in with my fingers. It seems to be fine so far. And then the final step before you're done is just to apply some moisturizer. Again, same principle, use one that works for you. This is just the one that I've been applying recently. I like the way it smells and it makes my skin feel fresh. Same deal, rub into your palms. All over your face. If you've followed along with every step up to this point, you'll probably find that you start to look like Christian Bale from American Psycho. Don't worry about that, just give yourself a few minutes before you actually walk out the door so that it can soak in and you don't look like you just stuffed your head in a grease trap. So that's pretty much it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, hope it's useful and it's not too time consuming. Um, let me know if you have any comments and I'll see you in the next video.